As you continue the location and site plan for your bicycle parking design, be sure to maintain convenience and utility for securing bicycles. In this video, we'll go into detail on this and much more of bike parking site planning. Convenience needs to be the main element in your bike parking site plan. Accomplish this by making your bike parking area easily accessible and no more than 50 feet from a primary entrance or intended destination. If you place bike parking farther away or in out-of-the-way locations, cyclists will likely opt to use closer alternatives like street furniture, trees, or fencing instead of your area intended for bike parking. The bike parking area should also be at least as close as the nearest car parking stall. Through convenience, the option of bike parking should be designed to be more desirable than car parking. You'll also want to consider the paths cyclists are most likely to travel in approaching your bike parking space. Bike parking should be easily accessible and near these paths of travel. If it is too far off their travel path, the usage will be significantly reduced. In addition to convenience, Plan on making bike parking as visible as possible. Increasing the visibility of the bike parking space helps cyclists easily locate bike parking as they approach the destination. Adding signage, installing racks with bright colors, and adding paint on the ground to indicate and mark the designated area for bike parking are all ways to raise the visibility of bike parking. Now that your plan includes a convenient and recognizable area for cyclists to access, you'll want to maximize security for the bicycle that is provided by the environment. The rack or racks you select will have the greatest influence on the overall security of your bike parking plan and will be discussed in depth in an upcoming video but there are also decisions on the placement of your bike parking that also impacts how secure it is. Placing bike parking in an area with pedestrian traffic adds an additional element of security. This provides the area with passive surveillance and adds a level of theft deterrent. When bike parking is set behind buildings, in alleyways, or other out-of-sight locations, it gives thieves more opportunity to beat the security of the lock, rack, or installation and steal the bike. Bike parking should also be visible from the destination. This lets cyclists keep an eye on their bike and be more confident about its security. It also provides another level of passive surveillance from other people at the destination. The next part of your planning should be to determine the number of bike parking spots you'll need. Many cities, towns, and government organizations have minimum ordinances or other mandates. These are the best starting places to determine the number of bike parking spaces needed. Library.municode.com is a great resource to begin your search. You can usually find bike parking guidelines and other ordinances regarding required bike parking capacity, placement, and right-of-way in a city's public works or parks and recreation department. Another great resource for guidelines and ordinances include bicycle advocacy organizations. They usually have at the ready or can easily direct you to local bike parking resources too. If there are no requirements to follow, the Association of Pedestrian and Bicycle Professionals have published bike parking recommendations worth following. These are broken down by facility type. For hospitals and healthcare facilities, plan on one bike parking space per 20,000 square feet of floor area. K through 12 schools should plan for one space for every 20 students of planned capacity. Colleges and universities should include one bike parking space for every 10 students. 
it is recommended that businesses and offices have one space for every 20,000 square feet of floor area as well. For off-street parking lots and garages, include one bike parking space per 20 spaces designated for automobiles. For more urbanized or bike active communities, plan for another half to full space per volume. You can find a complete list of bike parking recommendations in the APBP Bike Parking Guide found at the APBP.org website. The next factor in your planning is to review the installation surface. This will determine what bike rack you can use and what installation method. By far, the best surface material for installing bike racks is going to be concrete. This is the most secure option for installing a bike rack. It is also the least expensive. The most secure mounting option for concrete is an in-ground mount, where the rack is placed with the legs a designated distance below the surface level and Concrete is then poured, embedding and securing the legs. When there is existing concrete, a surface mount would work best in this situation. A surface mount involves securing the rack to the surface with wedge anchors and metal flanges on the rack. When surface mounting, it is recommended that tamper-proof hardware be used. This will help restrict a thief's ability to access the anchors and unmount the rack from the surface. With asphalt surfaces, there are two recommended installation methods. The first is to do an in-ground mount by cutting holes in the asphalt for the legs. Then, place the rack and pour concrete footings to secure the rack. Racks should not be surface mounted to asphalt as the anchors are easily removed from this material. The second option would be to use racks on rails. The entire unit can be left freestanding or the rails can be anchored to the asphalt. For surfaces consisting of pavers or bricks, an in-ground mounting process should be used. The bricks or pavers should be removed. Then, dig holes or core drill to place the legs of the rack. Install the rack and pour concrete footings. Racks on rails are also an option for this surface material. Surface mounts should be avoided with bricks and pavers. These items are easily loosened, making it possible to remove the rack from the ground. A thief can then slide the lock off the rack and steal the bicycle. When dealing with natural surfaces like grass, dirt, or crushed rock, pouring concrete footings for an in-ground mount or concrete pad for a surface mount is the best option. Racks on rails or freestanding racks would be the next best solution. Having a carefully considered plan will serve as the foundation for great bike parking. In the next video, we will show you different layouts to make your bike parking the most usable and accessible. Take this information with you by downloading the Bike Parking Guide. A link to download the PDF is in the description below. And make sure to click the subscribe button then the bell, and you'll be alerted when new bike parking videos are published. If this information helped you plan your bike parking, give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions for upcoming video topics, leave them in the comments below.